Hammer, two-time Nitto King of the Hammers winner coming in, down the Jeep Arch in that brand new Jeep Gladiator coming in town. What a sight to see. That thing's got probably 300 miles on it since it was brand new just two weeks ago, and it's going to come into Hammertown. And what? Eric Miller's really pushing hard all the way to the end. That Jeep JT truck is grabbing the checkered flag as we speak. Eric Miller makes it through the four-wheel parts. Every man challenge. The savvy JT makes it, Jim. That's amazing. A stock Jeep, a stock Jeep Gladiator JT. As Sean McNamara joins us on stage. So let's get him up here. Let's have a look at this Jeep and let's have a chat to Eric and find out how his day's been. Good evening, Eric. How are you doing? Great, Jim. How about yourself? <laughs> I'm fantastic. I'm still smiling. I cannot believe you brought this gladiator to the finish line. We had we were grinning ear to ear all day. I mean, we, we actually left main pit with no front locker and uh, found out shortly after that we didn't have a rear either. So like to say that it was a challenge today is an understatement. Um, but I had the two best guys in this car with me uh, to do that. You know, it's my, Robbie's been with me out here since I started back in 2010. And Nate, the last couple years running regional races, we won the national championship together. So these guys in the rocks cleared up every mess in front, made it happen, and then got this thing through because, like I said, it was handicapped, you know. We had issues with the aftermarket lockers. The Jeep, though, it was it was a tank all day. I mean, the 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 way that this thing is built is phenomenal. I mean, honestly, the last stretch there on Emerson, I looked over to him and I said, "What do you guys think this thing will do?" I mean, we beat the ever living heck out of it all day. You know, what will it touch? We hit 92 and it smooth as glass, and uh, it's just remarkable. It's a testament to what they built. And uh, it's really, really cool to have them back out here racing, and I'm proud to have brought it around and finished the EFC because it is no small feat, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's been incredible. We've been watching all day on the video feeds, and you say your co-drivers there at, uh, have been remarkable. We've seen them walking out in front of this vehicle, picking lines, choosing lines, helping other crews, and making sure that you can get to the finish. All day long. That, that's what King of the Hammers is really about. Um, it's, you know, it's the teamwork. I mean, we're racing against each other, but we're all here for the same common goal. We want to finish this race because uh, it's the toughest race in the world. And, and to finish here in this truck, is, uh, I'm so proud. Now, we've had some crews saying that you're cheating because you still have a heater in here. What do you say to that? <laughs> I think the windshield's a bigger advantage. We hit a soap bed out there uh, on the last part of the desert, and I had my visor up, and we had the wipers going. But now it's uh, we were <laughs> – this truck is awesome, uh, but I could definitely feel the 136-inch wheelbase in the rocks. And, uh, yeah, if it wasn't for that worn winch up front, I don't know if it'd be here. Uh, you know, we I used that thing harder today with Robbie and Nate than I think I have in my whole time wheeling Johnson Valley. Uh, so really Really, really stoked to have those guys on board. Not a flat all day, the Nitto's hooked, and uh, I can't believe how well this thing rode, uh, and I'm sure that's because we got the right Fox shocks on it. So, um, like I said, Jeep built a hell of a machine. I'm proud to race it and proud to bring it around for a finish. It's absolutely fantastic. So are you going to take this car home and take it down the mall next week? I wish I could, but you can't get these things. That's what's so cool about this. Um, but no, it really is, uh, I gotta thank Savvy Off-Road. They prepped one heck of a vehicle. Um, you know, Ultra Ford Dave Cole for the opportunity, and uh, most importantly, uh, my teammates, because last night, you know, we went over to Gerald's and went through everything uh, just to make sure it was good to go for race day. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for all that teamwork together, um, you know, Leah supporting me out here, uh, I wouldn't be able to do it. So really, really proud and thankful to have the support I do behind me. Well, Eric, it's been absolutely fantastic to see this. Now, I've got to have a word, quick word with one of your co-drivers. I'll say one, as there is two. So, uh, Rob, how was today? Uh, it's very interesting. You know, we went out there, a lot of vehicles, a lot of, you know, a lot of people out there. And uh, usually in the big car, we're just going up through everything, and it just makes it. This was actually very fun. Big challenge. You know, we did the best we could do. And like he said, there were some minor difficulties we had with, you know, aftermarket lockers that held us up quite a bit. But... You know, we did all we could do and had a blast doing it. It was, it was a lot of fun working with the other teams, getting other cars through. You know, me and Nate were screaming back and forth at each other because this thing's so long that it helped to have one person in the back and one person in the front, you know, because you don't know what's there. So it was awesome. I, I was, I'm was i stoked to have this opportunity, you know, driving with these guys and it just had a great day, I think. Well, Jeep is an iconic American brand, and we've got some iconic drivers and co-drivers sitting in this vehicle. We're very proud to say that you are finishers of the 2014 
four wheel parts every man challenge 2019. Thanks, Jim. I gotta say, if uh, they haven't trail rated this thing, we did today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, th I think you've just done all Jeeps testing for the next five years. Congratulations. Thanks, man. <laughs> Eric Miller, everybody. What a great run he had today. And I'm gonna also bring up Robbie Gordon. You drove the first lap of this thing. How, uh, how much fun was it driving the Gladiator this morning? It was good. You know, um, the biggest thing I want to do is get it back to Eric where he could go play in the rocks. And, you know, that's, uh, that's obviously he's fast in the desert, but um, I don't think I would have ever got it through the rocks. So I was stoked to see it get to the finish line. I'm glad to see you be a part of this thing. And tomorrow you're going to be driving your T1 truck. Uh, did this today's Jeep help you plan for tomorrow's race? It actually did. Um, the first, you know, 90 miles, everything except for Cougar Buttes um, is the same thing we're going to run with the trophy truck. So I was able to get one more lap in. And I think that was good. You know, it's uh, the Jeep was amazing. It's, um, you know, it's it was long enough that in the desert stuff, it rode really good. And, it, um, you know, down through the bumps, it's uh, it's good and all the, all the little chop and stuff. And it's uh, amazing how it climbed through Cougar Buttes. I um, really didn't have a problem through there. Um, but I don't know how he got through some of these sections that we went through in the UTV the other day because I had a hard time getting through just in the UTV. All right, we'll give it up. Eric Miller, Robbie Gordon, Jeep, the Everyman Challenge, four-wheel parts, 2019. They made it to the finish line. Great to see this brand-new car make it.